If you've been around the weight loss space for a while, you've probably heard people say that Ozempic is going to destroy your kidneys or that the GLP-1 medications are going to put you in a dialysis unit. But what if there was a bit of a twist? What if the GLP-1 medications might not only be safe, but also help protect your kidneys? And so today we're diving into chronic kidney disease and the new evidence with regards to semaglutide, aka Ozempic, aka Wagovi, and how it's not only safe, but it may be a game changer for people who have chronic kidney disease. And of course, before we dive in, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you never miss out when I put out another science-backed video. Before we break down the data here, let's do a quick chronic disease or CKD 101 to get you up to date on what we're talking about. Because if you don't know what's broken, you're probably not going to care too much about how to fix it. So chronic kidney disease is where your kidneys progressively begin to lose their ability to filter and remove toxins from the blood. The main causes of it are generally diabetes or high blood pressure. And the stages of CKD can range from anywhere from stage one, where it's quite mild, things are pretty much near where they should be, all the way down to stage five, where you could be getting hooked up to a machine and getting it to actually filter your blood for you. The real kicker of this all is that once your kidneys start to go south, it gets really hard to slow that progression down and prevent it from happening altogether. And hey, are you ready to take control of your health and create a lasting change? If so, then you need to sign up for My Empowerment Hub. This is a supportive community of people who get it and are struggling with their weight just like you, but it also is expertly guided by myself as well. It is full of different resources, challenges, and things that you need to live your best life. And the best part is you can try it risk-free for the first seven days. Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub is about more than just weight loss. It's about giving you the confidence and empowering you to be able to make the changes you need to make to live your happiest and healthiest life. All the links and everything that you need are down below in the description. Click on it and get started on your journey today. Now, you might be wondering, why is chronic kidney disease or CKD so dangerous? Well, I want you to imagine your kidneys as kind of like a big coffee filter. And for those generations that only know the Nespresso pods and K-cups, there's a tiny little filter inside of those magical little pods that filter the coffee grounds and prevent them from ending up in your cup of joe, which in case you also don't know means, means your cup of coffee. Okay, cool. When we have healthy kidneys, they're like good quality coffee filters. They let the good stuff through, pure coffee joy, while trapping all of the bad stuff, aka coffee grounds, from getting into that cup of coffee. When people have diabetes or high blood pressure, that coffee filter can get damaged and it can start getting holes in it and getting clogged up with too many toxins. And so your coffee filter or your kidney can no longer filter properly and remove all the nasty toxins and metabolites that our body produces to let it go out with your urine. And instead it begins to build up in your body and has all kinds of negative health effects, which can lead to swelling in your legs, fatigue, worsening of your blood pressure, it can cause nausea, as well it can also lead to shortness of breath, and eventually it can progress all the way to you needing dialysis or a full-on kidney transplant. Worse yet, with all these toxins then floating around, it can also increase your risk of things like heart attacks and strokes. So what do we do about it? Well, our main goal is to slow down the progression of this decline. Unfortunately though, we can't slow it and stop it altogether because naturally everybody's kidney function is going to decline as we age. The only difference is, is that in CKD, the process is happening at a more accelerated rate. Now our usual recommendations for managing chronic kidney disease involve blood pressure medications such as ACE inhibitors or ARBs, the SGLT2 medications like Jardians, Canagaflozin, and that sort of thing, as well drinking plenty of water and low sodium diets. And right now, lower protein diets are also recommended, although this is potentially changing as it's currently being debated in the literature. But that's a different video for a different day. And unfortunately, even with all of these treatments and if they were followed perfectly, some people will still progress to full-blown kidney failure. And so, people much smarter than me asked, well, what if Ozempic could potentially help with that? And thus, we got the FLOW trial, which wrapped up in 2024. You get it? FLOW? Because flow of urine, yeah, okay. 
This was a randomized control trial that looked at people who had type 2 diabetes as well they had chronic kidney disease. And the authors took the group of people, split them into two. One group got Ozempic one milligram once weekly. The other group got a placebo one milligram once weekly. And guess what happened after 3.4 years? They found a number of cool results. First, Ozempic slashed the rate of major kidney events by about 24%. This included reducing the risk of developing kidney failure, kidney dialysis, or needing a kidney transplant. They also found that Ozempic slowed the rate of kidney decline by about 1.16 mil per minute per year, which doesn't sound like much, but when it comes to CKD, that is a huge number. As you can see on this graph here, the people that were on Ozempic are in the yellow orange line there. They were doing substantial substantially better. Ozempic also reduced the risk of cardiovascular events by 29%. We kind of already knew that from the SELECT trial. And it reduced the risk of all-cause mortality by 20%. That's the risk of all death of any kind from many different kinds of things by that amount. The translation for all of this is that people that were on Ozempic had better kidneys that functioned better for a longer period of time and they were healthier. And hey everyone, if you happen to be living with a chronic disease such as asthma, chronic kidney disease, obesity, diabetes, and so on, I have got something special for you if you're also one of my Canadian viewers. Blue Charm is a platform that actually rewards you for sharing your journey. All you have to do is download the Blue Charm app on the Google Play or App Store and you can fill out one of their surveys and get $100 in your pocket. And here's the bonus, if you use my code LYG4G8, you get an additional $5 in your pocket. That's a total of $105 for about 30 minutes of your time. So not only can you make a little extra cash, but sharing your story can lead to meaningful research being done and helping other individuals that are struggling with the same chronic conditions. So if you're Canadian, check out Blue Charm, sign up today and start filling out their surveys. All right, we know that Ozempic had a whole bunch of benefits, but where did the benefits actually come from? Was it due to the drug or was it because people lost weight in the study? Fortunately, the authors of this study wanted to answer that question as well. And so the study participants were giving no instructions on specifically losing weight. They weren't given any particular dietary recommendations or any kind of activity recommendations. It was just the only difference between the two groups is one group got Ozempic and the other got a placebo. Now, of course, Ozempic and the GLP-1s being the GLP-1s, the people that took Ozempic still lost weight, about nine pounds more than those in the placebo group. But in reality, this was quite a small amount of weight loss compared to what we have seen in other studies. So weight loss likely helped with the kidney function, you know, less fluid, less tissue, you're gonna have less pressure going through those kidneys. But the other effects that Ozempic can exert include anti-inflammatory properties, reducing free radicals, which leads to less oxidative stress and fibrosis, which helps to protect and keep that kidney healthy. So perhaps the internet is once again wrong about these drugs destroying your kidneys. Well, maybe not entirely. And I'm gonna give them one little bone here because I'm sure some of them are going to scream about acute kidney injury or AKIs. And acute kidney injuries have occurred in individuals that are taking taking Ozempic and the other GLP-1 medications. But it isn't because of the drugs themselves. And this really isn't any kind of a new phenomenon. Any other drug that can lead to potential dehydration or decreased fluid intake can potentially lead to an AKI. You see, while your kidneys are a filter and such, in order for them to stay healthy and doing what they do, it needs to have some kind of fluid flow going through it. And if you become dehydrated, the amount of fluid begins to decrease, then leading to an AKI. So all of this can be avoided if you just drink your damn water. All right. In conclusion, Ozempic is not going to destroy your kidneys. It's actually safe and is going to help protect them. So much so that the FDA has now approved Ozempic for treating chronic kidney disease in those that have diabetes. And if you're currently already dealing with CKD and on one of the other treatments and following that treatment plan, adding an Ozempic may provide you additional benefit going forward. This is another big win for the GLP-1 receptor agonist medications. The wins just keep adding up over and over and over again. There's tons of new data and tons of new research that is on the horizon here of showing what these medications can do. And it's all looking pretty freaking promising. Seriously though, the next 10 years in the pharmaceutical and biotech space of things is gonna be just absolutely wild in terms of what comes out and what technologies we develop. 
Now, I want you to drop a comment down below if you're currently on Ozempic and if your doctor has mentioned these wonderful kidney benefits to you yet. Let me know. I love hearing from you guys. And that is it. And that is all, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. And of course, if you did, please share it with anyone else that you think might benefit from it. As well, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out when I put out another amazing video. But you also make me feel really good about myself as I see that subscriber number go up. Also, be sure to check out Dr. Dan's Empowerment Hub. It is your go-to for evidence-based knowledge, personalized check-ins with me, and a supportive community of amazing people. Plus, your first week is free, just click the link down below. And finally, please remember to not only drink your water, but also remember that small tweaks are going to be what lead to those massive peaks.